nine year old Zyla Blackshear is currently one of 1800 people right here in Allegheny County waiting on an organ transplant. She joined us earlier today on PTL to show off her amazing cooking skills, a passion she is finding joy in despite not being able to eat food. And now she's back in the studio to share more about her experience along with Sydney Harper, the Multicultural Outreach Coordinator with the Center for Organ Recovery and Education. So welcome, ladies. Good to see you, Zyla. All right, we're going to talk to you in just a second. So Sydney, tell us a little bit more about CORE and how you're helping Zyla. So like you said, I'm the Multicultural Outreach Coordinator with CORE, and my role is to, just to get the message out there about the importance of organ donation. Because right now, about 50% of Pennsylvania are currently registered organ donors. But when you look at the African American community, it drops down to under 20%. So, you know, there's, we're overrepresented on that waiting list. So it's important for us to become registered organ donors as well, mm -hmm. so that we can decrease that waiting list. Yeah. And so Zyla, let's talk a little bit about you and talk about um, how having uh, this condition, waiting on an organ, um, affects you at school and at home. Well, when I was kind of like born or something, um, my no, that's okay. Yeah. So if my my small intestines got sick. So I had to get surgery to get it out, and now I only have one. Yeah, and that must that must be hard, especially when it comes to, to eating food, right? Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Well, my intestines, I don't really know. We don't really know what it got sick from, mm -hmm. but soon, soon I'm going to, like, they're going to find this kind of piece, like, so they can put it inside of my stomach, and then I'll be better. And I know you will be better. And this is the importance of, of organ donation. You're really helping young people like this. And people, I think, don't necessarily think about it that way. Right. Yeah. I, I think people don't think about it until it's someone they love that's on that waiting list. Yeah. So that's why it's important for us to have, you know, people from different backgrounds to register. So there will be a match to take those you know, numbers down on the waiting list. Yeah, and I'm wondering why there are so few people, at least in our region, mm -hmm. who are organ donors. Are there some myths about doing that? Yeah, there's a lot of myths and misconceptions. That's why it's important to educate yourself. You know, some people think, you know, I'm, I'm scared that, you know, they won't save me, and that's just not true. You don't even know that you're, an, you, you, the doctors don't know you're an organ donor until all, you know, medical possibilities have been exhausted, and then, you know, they can check and see for an organ donor. So just things like that, you need to just educate yourself. You can go to our website, core.org, and check out some information so that you at least make an educated decision. Yeah, and Zyla, this is what I love about you. I understand that you love cooking, is that right? Why do you love cooking so much? Because I play with my dolls and like I give them food. Yeah, and what do you like to cook for them? Mm. <laughs> Since they eat, they're dolls. Sometimes the desserts. The desserts, yeah, what kind of desserts? Maybe like a cookie or a chocolate. Yeah, and do you think cooking for her is just like a really great distraction and just something that she's passionate about, maybe to take her mind off of all of the other yeah. things that are going on with her? And it's something she enjoys doing with her mother, so I yeah. know that, you know, family time is important to her and her mom and her, her brother and her grandma, so I just think it's, you know, the family coming together and sharing that experience. Yeah. And once again, how can people get involved with what you're doing at CORE and just possibly become an, an organ donor? Tell us about really signing up on your driver's license. Yeah, you yeah. can sign, sign up when you go to the DMV. You mm -hmm. can just go to CORE, um, CORE's website and you can sign up there. You don't have to wait until you're renewing your license because that's every four years. Right. So, I mean, and you can volunteer with CORE, help get the word out because, you know, it's that education piece that's important because if you don't know, you know, why aren't you an organ donor? You need to ask yourself that and then educate yourself on, you know, becoming one because it's, you know, you want to decrease that waiting list for people like Zyla who, who's been waiting for that small bowel transplant. Yeah, well, this is really important information, especially when you put a darling little yeah. face to it. You know, it's, it's, it's really, it's a really good thing. So thank you ladies both for coming on and good luck to you, Zyla. And I can't wait for you to cook for us here. How about that next time? 
Yeah, she's nodding. Yes. All right. If you're interested in registering as an organ donor, we will have a link on our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.